Hello and welcome to Come Dine at Sea. We're students of St Vincent College. I'm James. And I'm Molly. And we're here at the Royal Navy Submarine Museum. We're here to take on the Pop Mess Challenge. Let's go. We're here at the Royal Navy Submarine Museum in Gosport to take on the pot mess challenge. Pot mess is a meal eaten by submariners and made by chucking loads of different cans into a massive pot and heating it up. And we're here ready to take on this challenge. I'm Oliver Noble. And I'm James Ellis. And this is Come, Come Dine, Dine at Sea. sea. In 1963, to educate the public about the services of the submarine, the Royal Navy Submarine Museum was opened. In 1978, the Royal Navy donated HMS Alliance to the museum. These tracks lead into Hasler Hospital to come um, injured sailors to there so they could be treated. Hasler Hospital was shut down in 2001, but it's still standing to be seen today. And we're ready and here to take on the pot mess challenge. We're on board HMS Alliance with retired submariner chef Jim. He was posted on a submarine, the same model as this and others. So, could you tell us anything about this pasty prank that went round on submarines? Pasty prank? Um, we, we call pasties oggies. Oh, yeah. Of course, that's what they call them in Cornwall, Cornish pasties. And in naval slang, they were oggies. So if we were making 65 oggies, we'd put in a couple of extras in, with stuff them with wire wool or cotton waste, and there was the booby prize for whoever was unlucky enough to get um, one of those. Well, we tried that experiment for ourselves at our college, and this is how it went. On the submarine, submariners used to prank other sailors by planting disgusting, dirty, oily cloths into their pasties. We're here at St Vincent College to recreate this famous prank to make past prank pasties of our own. So, Ollie, what is it you're doing? At the moment, we are making real <laughs> and fake pasties to be given out in our cafeteria and we're going to film the reactions. Uh, what's the what, are, what are the ingredients you're going to be putting into these? Uh, at the moment, pastry, cheese which has been grated over the back and onion which has been fried just now. These pasties look absolutely amazing. I mean Incredible, this cheese is just... Mmm, no, mm, it's gorgeous that is. Those pasties are going to be amazing. So, explain a little bit more about what, what exactly is happening here. Well, we've got a line going now. We're making all our pasties that we're going to be giving out in our cafeteria. At the moment, I'm just ripping up some dishcloth so we can start making the prank ones. So, when people bite into them, they get a nice bit of dishcloth. They're going to be stringy, aren't they? <laughs> We're here at St Vincent College with our prank pasties. We're going to be giving them out to loads of random people. So we're going to go up to them and uh, just see what their reaction is and hopefully some of them are going to get uh, some prank ones with a disgusting dirty cloth inside them. <laughs> it's ugly, isn't it? Oh, voice. Oh. <laughs> so oh, 
I broke my wrist when I was 21. Mm. <laughs> 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 when I was 21, the one. No. Is it good? Is it nice? Oh, yeah. So flavoursome. No bit chewy on the palate. It's, it's, good, though, good. Oh, it's, it's the best I've ever had. What's the cheese like? A little bit woolly. <laughs> yeah, I think it's sheep's milk. <laughs> Have another bite. You know. <laughs> a little bit different to, to swallow. <laughs> I'm about to go and mark your exam piece. <laughs> Mmm. Are they nice? Lovely, yeah. Absolutely fantastically lovely, yes. It's lovely. Are they nice, are they? Yeah. Yeah. A bit of tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Is the cheese good? Well, yeah. And the onions? There's onions in it. <laughs> Make it a mess. You know you put onions in it, James. <laughs> There's a dishcloth in mine. Is there? <laughs> What's this? It's actually. Well, we've got a dishcloth in my plastic for. <laughs> What's it like? It tastes like cotton. Very good, though. Mm. You improved. Yeah. Alright. Is the cheese good? <laughs> Bit of HP yeah. sauce, it'd be perfect. It didn't taste too bad. Are they good? No, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> On the submarine, so mariners used to prank other sailors by putting dirty, disgusting, oily cloths into their patties as a prank, and that, that's, that's the prank that we've recreated here. So we've basically, this is a dirty, oily cloth. <laughs> no idea. Yeah, so okay. good. Right, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> On the submarine, the labels on the cans used to fall off, and the chef had no idea what cans were going into the pot mess, so it was potluck of what was going in the pot mess. We've got our cans here, we've already peeled most of ours off, this is why the last cans, and there we go. Now it's going in a bucket for the public to choose. So Jim, what was pot mess like? Pot mess was uh, exactly as it looked, a pot mess, but it was a submariner's favourite meal, really. Um, and I used to serve it up with dumplings, which went in the oven in the pot mess. We call them boily bakes. All right. So what were the common ingredients in pot mess? And there would be carrots, green beans, beans in tomato sauce, tin tomatoes, uh, turnips, even parsnips. Anything and everything that went into the pot mess was used up as not to go to waste, of course. There we go, that's three done. Right, so being in the Navy yourself, you've experienced pot mess then, have you? I have, yeah, yeah, mate, yeah. Right, uh, we're recreating the same thing, so would you like to pick a couple of cans for us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, big help. Cheers. Is that, is that, that's easy enough. Yeah. <laughs> we're here at the desk of the Submarine Museum. Are you willing to pick a can for us? Yeah, go on then. Alright, go ahead. Nice and big, thanks. Would you like to pick a tin for our pot mess? Yes. That one. Nice and shiny. We'll find out what's in this later. This is the room where we got our inspiration for the pot mess and prank pasties. I'm here with Carrie in the Horrible Histories part of the museum. Carrie's one of the people that are taking on the pot mess challenge. So Carrie, how do you feel about this? Honestly, not very good. <laughs> right, well I've got a model here of what the pot mess might resemble. Do I see it? Go on then. 
Um, I'm still not looking forward to it. It looks horrible. Right. Is there anything you're hoping will not be in the pot mess? Uh, definitely mushrooms. Hoping they're not in there. Let's find out what's going in. We're here with Chef Kevin from the Anglesey Hotel. So Kevin, introduce yourself and just tell us a little bit about what's going on here. Hello there, um, I'm the head chef and the uh, director of the Anglesey Hotel. Uh, I've worked there for about 18 years, a really nice place in Gosport. Uh, we're here today to make a pot mess, uh, just like they would on the submarine, or w one big dish uh, with anything thrown in it basically. Um, obviously it tastes nice because um, I'm going to be making it, so <laughs> there you go, that's, that's what we'll be doing. Right, should we get, a, get to right this on. and let's open some cans? Oh, I'm not allowed to look so I'll be closing my eyes and okay. getting... Well, we'll do this one first. I'm not too sure what that is, a tin of soup, I think. It's going to make it a nice, it's going to make it nice with running. Yeah, nice. I think it does. Okay. Pretty nice. There you go, then. Minestrone soup, that's what that was. Minestrone soup. Minestrone. Is that beans, is it? I, I think, think it's a tin of eight beans, so a bit of fibre. That'll make it nice and smelly in the submarine, which will be really good. One of your five a day as well. One of your five a day. One of your five a day. How amazing is that? Oh, I think they're mushrooms. That, I think that's mushrooms. That is mushrooms. So you, so you said that you didn't want mushrooms. No. Are, are you happy with that decision? No, I'm not. I don't want them. In. Yeah. It looks a bit like um, it looks a bit like a fried breakfast, like yeah. just like all mixed into one at the moment. You, you want to borrow my glasses? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? I have no idea. It's going to be a nice thick paste. I think on the submarine, now you need a square meal, so they got they got like the carbohydrates, the, the vegetables and the meat in there so far, which is quite nice, a bit of protein as well, so it's a, quite, oh, quite a healthy meal so far. Hot dogs. Hot dogs. Oh, oh, everyone's favourite. And I think what we'll do is we'll just chuck them in whole. Is that, is that beef, is that, I think? <laughs> I think that is steak pie mix. Ooh. Or steak mix. So, that looks lovely. Stew and steak in there. So. Is that potatoes? Some lovely potatoes. If they weren't going to get full, filled up beforehand, they definitely will get filled up now. Right, we have another person here going to pick out a tin for us. Uh, introduce yourself. Uh, Mike Havenhand. I'm uh, a tour guide, volunteer tour guide, and I served for 22 years in, in the Navy, 10 on surface ships and 12 in submarines. I'm now retired and probably going to get food poisoning there. Okay. Thank you very much. Go for that. <laughs> Marvellous, thank you. Oh, look at that, that's perfect. Mushy peas. Oh, love it. Everyone loves a bit of mushy peas. Apart from in Scotland, they don't like mushy peas in Scotland. Do they not? No. I hate mushy peas. The pot mess looks absolutely amazing. I mean, it just looks gorgeous. I right, just want to thank you for coming along and cooking this and uh, no problem. serve no problem. a little bit up. Serve yep. a little bit up for us. Serve a little bit up for you now. Move the spoon out of the way first, I think. Look at that. Doesn't that look appetising? Amazing. There you go. There's a fork for you. Very nutritious, very hot, and I think they'll be fill up after that. So, Right, we'll take this off to the submarine and we'll give out to the students and have the challenge. We're on board the HMS Alliance and these four guys have already taken the pot mess challenge. How are you feeling guys? Yeah, I'm quite excited. I think it'll be quite interesting, so yeah. Oh, and it's Kevin now. Good timing for that. Okay, so we're just dishing up the pot mess now. James, what's your opinion on this? To be fair, it doesn't, doesn't look too bad. It, it, it just looks like a, like a massive sort of bundle of beans in it with a with a few bits of lumps and potatoes it, it looks it looks just about appetizing isabel what's your opinion is it the same as james's well yeah it looks all right it smells all right i, I should taste fine so yeah so you guys looking forward to tasting this i can't wait yeah it's gonna be interesting <laughs> it's kevin's cooking so i don't mind okay well this is the last plate that's been dished up 
So if we hand out the cutlery. All right, last Thank fork you. being handed out. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah. Yep. I don't know. Ready, steady, go. So guys, what do you think of your pot mess? It's really nice. It is weirdly good. It is actually really nice. <laughs> um, it just tastes like a casserole stew type mixture. It's really, nice. really, really good. Okay, so James, Isabel, do you think, do you have the same opinion as Carrie and Kirsty on this? Yeah, I think I'm going to go home and make some more. <laughs> it, it tastes a bit like the cans of uh, cooked breakfast that you get and you just pour it into, you just pour it into, a, a, um, into a dish and just heat it up in a microwave. It does taste really nice. Sneaky Kirsty in for another ladle full. What's that, your third? So Kevin, are you happy with your creation? I think so. It's a very nutri nutritional meal, uh, very rounded. Uh, it's got all the proteins and carbohydrates everyone needs, and apparently it tastes nice as well. So you can have some for yourself later on? I think I will when everyone's gone, yeah. Okay, sounds good. The pot mess challenge has been defeated. The whole pot is completely empty. This is Come Dine at Sea, and thank you for watching.